Ooh, this is called A5. Hey guys, it's Joe from Crowd Cow. I want to say a few words about Japanese and American Wagyu. Wagyu is this thing that's become quite uh, in the news a lot, and, and there's been a ton of interest around Wagyu, that term. And I'm here to make sure that you are informed and you know the source of your Wagyu. There's a lot of fake Wagyu. There's a lot of mislabeled Wagyu. There's a lot of deception, a lot of marketing trickery. There's a lot of fake farm sounding names and Japanese characters on stuff that's not special. And it may be beef, but it may not be the Wagyu that you want. I'm gonna break it down really quick. Wagyu is a word that just means Japanese cow. I should mention too, I was a double major in Japanese, spent about a year and a half living in Japan. I was a farm homestay, many years doing business with Japan, and I actually ate and roasted a whole Wagyu cow on my 20th birthday. Wagyu just means Japanese cow. That's just a word that means Japanese cow. In Japan, there are four breeds that are native to Japan. Breeds of cow, just like there are breeds of dog. It's a thing. So there's four breeds in Japan that are native to Japan. One of them is special. It's called the Kuroge Washu. It's special quite frankly because of this. Look at that crazy marbling. Is that beautiful? That one breed, the Kuroge Washu, it has a genetic predisposition to taking its food that it eats and metabolizing it as this crazy fine grain marbling that goes on the inside of the muscle. Most other animals put the fat on the outside. For example, I put it about right there. But most cows put their fat on the outside. That's why you get a big fat cap. But the Kuroge Washu takes its fat, puts it inside the muscle, makes it crazy. And that's why it creates this, this crazy fine grain marbling that is so tre treasured and delicious. It creates that melts in your mouth sensation. It's different flavor quality. The Kuroge Washu's fat is packed with oleic acid and glutamic acid, which not only are healthy for your heart, but are also what gives it this umami flavor experience. That's why Wagyu, the word has become famous. It's because of that one breed, the Kuroge Washu. When it's 100% Kuroge Washu, and when it's raised in Japan with great care, with the stress-free environment, the right healthy foods, then they can accentuate that level of marbling to levels like you just saw. Ooh, this is called A5. That's when three highly trained raiders who've trained for over three years each inspect the carcass, look at the marbling, and if it's high enough on the marbling score, they can get the highest possible rating in Japan, A5. And that in Japan is prized. It's absolutely a special occasion meal. So anyhow, Wagyu itself was imported to America. It's no longer able to be imported the DNA or the animals that is. The Japanese government decided it's too valuable and they cut it off. But in the 1990s, some breeders here in America were smart and they cut the DNA over. And they've kept raising the breed, a uh, Kuroge Washu, and a couple of the breeds like the Aka Ushi, which isn't special in terms of marbling. Online, there's a couple of really big online things that say they've got Wagyu. Some of them use uh, names that sound like they're a farm. Some of them use Japanese characters. There's a couple of very prominent ones. If you Google, you'll hit them right away. What they've got is Angus beef crossbred with the Kuroge, maybe the Kuroge, they don't even say, but crossbred with Wagyu, a, a Wagyu breed. And that stuff is Angus beef. It tastes like Angus. It doesn't have the levels of the glutamic acid, oleic acid that have that umami flavor. It doesn't reach the level of marbling that I just showed you. And it hasn't been raised by Japanese people who know what they're doing for tens and tens and tens of years of, of knowledge sharing and competitive breeding system at the state, regional, and local, and, and national level with a Wagyu Olympics every five years. This guy right here, Kagoshima, A5 Wagyu. This region won the top highest average score at the Wagyu Olympics, a nationwide event attended by over 200,000 people and only happens once every five years. This is some good beef. The whole system is set up for this premium. We just don't have it over here. That said, if you've got the DNA, Kuroge Washu, and you've got what's called purebred or full blood, 100% DNA traceable to Japan, documented as such, then you've got the same genetic creature that they're working with in Japan. And you're gonna get way more marbling. You're gonna get that umami flavor. It's gonna be amazing. This is Hutterian Wagyu. This is a Denver steak, okay? A Denver steak. And it's a purebred. I'm gonna pull it out of its packet right now. Patting it down. All right, here's what that looks like. Do you notice something? Do you notice some marbling? Is that beautiful? That is gorgeous. So that's a Denver steak from an American raised Kuroge Washu, traceable to Japan, purebred, and it's gorgeous. It's raised here in America. It's not raided by professional raiders. It's not using you know, water bright rice straw. This one's raised by Hutarian, which is a religious community up in Washington state. For me, this is a local beef too. They grow all of the ingredients that the animals eat, the corn, the peas, the grasses, raised on open pasture, a pure and beautiful purebred Kuroge Washu raised here in America in a pure and beautiful open pasture kind of way, resulting in a crazy marbling that you just cannot find anywhere else.
So, most of the time when you see Wagyu for sale in America, you're going to find Japanese characters on websites. You're going to find names that sound like it's a farm, blah, 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 farm, or this and that ranch. And it's just going to be Angus crossbred with Wagyu 99.99% of the time. Just know that. Or you can come to Crudcow, crudcow.com slash Wagyu, and everything you're going to see is traceable to a farmer where you're going to know the name, where it's going to be written on the pack of meat, Darien Wagyu Farm. And you're going to be able to pick from everything that you might want, such as A5 Wagyu from Japan or all of fed wagyu from Kagawa Prefect or a farm if you're here in Washington that's local to you called Hutarian where they're raising purebred traceable to Japan and we also occasionally have the crossbred stuff Angus crossbred with wagyu is lovely beef it tastes like Angus but it's more marbled it's like it's not wagyu experience but it's good we just want you to be able to buy that and know that that's what you're getting and we want you to know the name of the farmer who raised that animal and how they raised it something no one else does this is 100% DNA kuroge raised in Japan this is the epitome of the highest level that you can achieve. This is Japanese A5 Wagyu from Kagoshima. This is American raised purebred Wagyu, something you don't find almost anywhere in America, raised right here in America. This is a Denver steak. The marbling is still crazy. You know, everything I've learned about Wagyu um, took me a long time to learn because there is so much misinformation online. I consulted Japanese language original sources. I spoke in Japanese to Japanese farmers and government officials, multiple of them, chefs. I went deep to find out the truth about this very confusing and very important topic of Wagyu so that I could make all kinds of Wagyu available to you in a transparent way. So if you're buying Angus crossbred with the Wagyu, you're not overpaying for it, and you can enjoy that one alongside A5 Wagyu from Japan, alongside purebred Wagyu from America. Have a tasting flight, live it up, enjoy. But let's stop the shenanigans. Peace out, thanks.